Hello. Uh, we, why do we have a black screen here? We should be seeing. Let's just start, shall we? Yeah, let's see what happens here. Uh, can everyone hear us? Uh, shout if you can. We should be underway. Sorry, we're about five minutes late starting. Uh, we've got a black screen here, so we can't see the gameplay screen. So I'm not sure if anyone else can either. Let's have a look. See what comes in. Might have to get our uh, technical guru in. Scooby, good afternoon, Scooby. How are you? Uh, can people see gameplay at the moment? Because we can't. But it doesn't matter if we can't. If we can't. We've got one screen. We can use that. But if you see a black screen, it's a bit of a rubbish stream, isn't it? Let's see what people say before we go any it's further. It's black here too. Uh, you pressed the button wrong, haven't you? What have I done? All right, let's have a look. Gameplay. Right. Bear with me while we go and get Stephen to fix this. Hang on two seconds. Stephen, we can hear you, can't he? Pause that while we sort technical assistance. Eels. Tommy Thompson. Yeah, Darren hates eels. The more eels, the better. The eel gang. Love it. Darren's definitely broken it. He always breaks everything. You want to try sitting next to him every day. Is there a marker rod coming out? Hopefully you can hear me. Um, it's something we've, we thought about. It would be nice to have a marker rod. Obviously we've got a spod rod in the game. Um, watch this space really is all I can say. You know, Once we've uh, got to the situation where um, Pro Tour is out, um, you know, then we can take a look at all the things that we really like to do, all the things that are on our list of things that are really important to us. Um, so yeah, it's something we can look at. Making a trophy here and name it Darren's best friend. Yes, that's a great idea. We should just name money. We should just have an eel. Call it Darren. Stephen's in the house. Hello, everyone. Stephen's here. Gameplay, that's what we want. Right. I'll remember to click back into the game. Yes, click back into the game, Stephen, he says. Right, let's. I've started a, a tournament. Um, we're going to do something from the career mode. I think the first one is a bass tournament. Um, or, uh, it's the Texas State Championship. I can't remember what lake it was at the top of my head. How are you doing? Hello, I'm back. Darren's back. Darren's technical guru, Stephen, <laughs> fixed it. Scooby, uh, what was it? Big Timer J or Scooby Hayes? I said you broke it. Well, it was Big Timer J. Probably. It's probably true, actually. <laughs> so that looks Let's, like to me you're on Lake Travis. Travis. It is Travis, I remember now. So time is of the essence. Get to your spot. Get to my spot. That so, well known, uh, that well known spot. So Chuck Pippen and Cliff Crochet are in the uh, in the medals already, which That's is it, good. Which is, uh, Started early. Uh, is there trout in the Grand Union Canal? No, the trout are in the US venues only at the moment because we do not have the European methods to fish for them effectively. So at the moment they are just in the in the US lakes. Uh, Big Time Jay, hi Darren. Hello, Big Time Jay. Hope you're well. That's meal shouts it's already. Been three weeks. <laughs> we already had some. Yeah. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Still not going to happen. I'm quite liking the idea now, though. To be quite honest, yeah. just have one in. They should just we have one in game and call it Darren. Yeah. <laughs> the boss. It's fish. a great idea. Yeah. And ill. Oh, look at you. You're all sponsored up as well. I know. It's like I know what I'm doing. Yep. Yeah, almost. 
57th, you'd take that at this stage, wouldn't you? Obviously. <laughs> With the like, that chat's winning. We should, yeah. Oh, yeah, we should tell him. We quickly. should tell him. Yeah, he the man. Matt Hall, North American Dovetail Fishing League. Come on Facebook. Yeah, we've seen the, the posts, Matt. I hope that's going yeah, really well for you. Yeah, absolutely, Matt. It's a well great done. idea. Yep, fantastic. Look at you, straight oh, yeah. in with a, a fish and a perfect strike. I've been practicing, you see, without anybody looking. <laughs> can't let the streamers down. Chad, you two are the reasons we don't have beards in the game. <laughs> uh, well, Chad, in fairness, I have the complete inability to grow a beard. So... Actually, that is true as well. But when I'm it? older, it will it will benefit me. When you're long -term, older, long term. Love it. You're younger than me, though, aren't you? So. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. Why are you playing that? Thirteen fishing, love me. So, Pete. Uh, KKK, hello guys, good afternoon. When I'm fishing from the boat, bottom fishing, it doesn't bite. Why doesn't it bite? Uh, best thing to do is to check your uh, sonar and to see if the fish are swimming along the bottom of the lake and that you're using uh, the correct lure uh, for the really? bottom as well. It's like joining up the, um, joining up the pieces of the jigsaw. If, you're, if the fish are on the bottom and you're using a lure that's suitable to the bottom, and you're retrieving it in the right way for the lure, then there's no reason why the fish shouldn't bite. So that's the best advice I can give you. If you're finding it's a general thing, you just can't get it to happen, try and capture some footage for us, uh, send it into our support, which is Dovetail Games at kayako.com, dot or dot kayako.com, isn't it? Stephen uh, on the uh, Stephen will post it. forum will post it, and uh, we can have a look into that for you, no problem whatsoever. So you uh, three pound five. Yeah, ounce it was a bass. little one. Yeah, but straight in again. So, oh, Billy, Billy got a bass. Uh, check him out on Instagram if you can. Very funny man. He's uh, he was in the top three. He's just dropped down Billy. now. But yeah, He's good a guy. Scott's friend. Scott's friend and, yeah, and nice. part of the Scott Martin Challenge team. Yep. So uh, he's a good guy. Um, you next. Can you add more Zanders to Polish Lake? I fished a venue often and have never caught one. Uh, we can have a look to see what the, the numbers of Xander in there and if the balance isn't correct for you, no problem. That's good. Uh, when are right-handed reels coming? Yeah, we appreciate that in the US uh, it's a bit different to Europe, especially with the baitcasters, the majority of them are right-handed. Yeah. It's, uh, it's one of those things where we want, we want to get to, it's like a cosmetic thing. Um, so we do need to get to it, but we're obviously busy with big new features first, and then as soon as we can, yeah. the, like the sort of cosmetic fixes we need to get to as well, absolutely. Uh, Robert D, in real life, 20 pound fluoro would outfish 50 pound braid. Are you going to make the same similar? Uh, Rob, what do you mean by that? Do you mean in terms of the performance values or the number of fish you'd expect to catch on that? If you could elaborate and we will Try and give you a, a, an yeah, answer absolutely. based on that. Uh, I see you're partnered up with War Eagle. Will we see any of their lures in the update? Also, Smivik. What about their jerk baits? Yes, we have partnered uh, with both of those companies. Uh, there will be some Smivik lures going into the game uh, in the update, but there won't be any from War Eagle at this stage. War Eagle will be a um, Sponsor, you could be sponsored by them in the career mode. We'll be getting their products into the game in due course, but not uh, in July. Smivik, yes. Uh, it's jumping around all over the place. Can we be able to walk around the whole lake instead of just pegs? Uh, says Chris Hall. On a lot of the lakes, Chris, on the European lakes, you can walk around the whole lake, but if the lake is of a significant size, <clears throat> like that. That's a significant size. Yeah, but it's not a lake. Uh, we won't let you. We won't allow you to walk all the way around massive lakes. Uh, it takes up too much memory, basically, in the game. So we give you the the uh, teleport locations to be able to get around it a lot quicker. Uh, and if there's no, if there's nothing along the lake, like um, no swims or in the real, if it's a real world venue where there's no fishing from the bank allowed, then we'll just block it off because it just saves on saves on the memory. Um, Mark, good fish. It wasn't bad, was it? You no. were in 
the lead for yeah was it for a very very seconds. brief so yeah and then Hunter Freeman come in Hunter and Freeman yeah no mm. Angler and Gustavo Paredes I think is an AI character but Hunter Freeman is one of our pros indeed so uh, but he, he's got your number at the moment he has at the moment not far not not far away though. Okay. Uh, so Chad says, can we get a look at some of the jersey selection today and the customizations? What we should do is when we finish this tournament, we should go into the sponsorship hub and, and show how that works. Can do. And uh, see how you get your logos on there, no problem. Uh, Matt, we need a list of the lures that the update has. Uh, Matt, don't worry, as soon as we get closer, and we're getting closer all the time, there'll be full patch notes, update notes, and we will break down all of the lures that the update has in, I can tell you, you'll be getting a, between 80 and 100 new lures from around um, six new companies to choose from. So that's something to look out for, but we will get that list in for you. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, having problems, excuse me, having problems on bass fishing, I'm hooking the fish but getting no tension. Will that fix be in the July update, gents? Scooby, I'm not aware of that issue. Stephen, I know you're monitoring this. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of that and can answer it. Or um, Scooby and Stephen, if you could have a bit of a conversation around that for us. Uh, it's a new one to me. I don't I'm know if you're off. aware of it at all. Not seen that so one. we'll look into it. Uh, let's see what else. Mm. Uh, so Liam James, are you planning on adding any Australian fishing venues and fish? Uh, Liam, not at the moment. Uh, obviously, with the styles of fishing that we have, they're not necessarily suited to Australia. I know that in general, carp fishing and carp are seen as a nuisance species in Australia, so we couldn't really do a, a carp fishing venue. And um, I don't think there's that much uh, bass fishing uh, in Australia, mm -hmm. certainly not in the way that we have in the game. But obviously Australia is known for fishing as much as uh, other countries and certain styles of fishing. And when we get there, so I'm talking about like the, the um, sport fishing in particular, then absolutely Australia will feature. But if there is something we can do with Australia, with bass fishing, we should certainly look to do it. Obviously, particularly now we've got Cole Jockamson in the game and having good conversations with him and these sort of flying, flying the flag for Australia being the only Australian uh, Bass Pro in the US, you know, we should look to uh, reflect, you know, where he's come from and, and try and do that. So we can certainly look into that for you. Um, so, Zach Turner, what will be the new largest fish when the update releases? Zach, the, uh, the new largest fish will be the same as what we have at the moment in the core game. You've got big catfish. Uh, in some of the venues and fudges in Gigantica is the biggest carp. Uh, Largo is the biggest carp. And in terms cat. of, yeah, and then with the additional content that's available, Largo do Mundo still has the biggest catfish in the game and, and the biggest fish overall. So when the update comes out, that's, that's your options. Uh, if you're fishing, so Robert has come back to us. If you're fishing 20 pound fluoro, you would catch more fish than with 50 pound braid. But on this game, if you go with 50 pound braid, what's the point in having 20 pound fluoro in the shop? Uh, I think what you what you need there, Robert, is the 50 pound braid is especially needed for the the real big fish. And so I think that's what people are using the 50 pound braid for. I think the 20 pound Fluoro has its place as well, particularly when you're going for the bigger, for big carp. But when you're fishing for the real big predators, in terms of um, the catfish and the zander and, and fish like that, then you do need really strong braid on there. So I think they, they both serve a purpose in the game at the moment. Uh, let's see what else. Can you add pole fishing and fly fishing? That's certainly something we'd love to. We'd like we? to add. Yeah. yeah. We've we've disagreed a little bit at times on pole fishing, haven't we? Yeah, old match ex match uh, being angler. Being match angler, you're keen to see it. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure if the the demand is there compared to some of the other disciplines. Certainly, think we need to get fly fishing in. Definitely. Definitely need to get sea fishing in the game as well yeah. in the future. But I don't know. Like we always say, if you guys shout loud enough and tell us pole fishing is definitely needed, 
then we'll look to make it happen. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Uh, so uh, I see that um, Stephen and Big Timer J and Scooby are talking about the tension that he mentioned, so that's good. Uh, Chris, will we be able to put your face on the character instead of defaults? Not yet, Chris. Um, character customization is an ongoing product um, project, as is the career mode. Obviously, introducing the career mode opens up a whole world of possibilities with uh, known anglers in it as well, and I'm sure you can work out what I mean by that, but it's, it's all um, an update that we'll continue to improve and expand on. Uh, so let's see what else is coming in. Well, Mark, Mark is now in the lead. I missed I that. Yeah, no, I I missed a, it. A ten pounder. No. Yeah, I did. Wow. Oh, and another Ooh. one. I'm, I'm going to have to sabotage this in a minute. This is. Uh, I'm going to grab your controller out of your hand or something. Oh, practice makes perfect. Man. That's what it <laughs> is. You know, when secretly, I've been. Um, this is a small one. Secretly, oh. I've been practicing. Oh, it's a little tiny bass. Yeah, it's a baby bass, but count, they all though. count. They all count. They all count. See, I've got five anyway. So, uh, yeah, you extended the lead there. So, um, how big is the channel cat going to be? I can't remember. Can you remember how big they are? They're relevant to, to the to the states that they're in, if yeah. that makes sense, or the lake, or if it's a known lake that they're in. So, whatever the lake record or state record is. Um, the cats won't be any bigger than that. So Stephen that's the easiest you, answer, right? but Stephen can give you a much more precise answer. Um, Chad, in a year from now, how many lakes and venues do you guys see the game having? Ooh, good question. That's a really good question, Chad. So at the moment, when we redo or when we relaunch in July, you're going to have 10 lakes available in core. I think there's six, six additional lakes available yeah. at this stage. So that's 16. Um, so I'm sure we'll be in the mid twenties by the uh, by this time next year. I'd like to think, wouldn't you? I, know, I think that's pushing easily be pushing doable. thirty even. Yep. I would I would stick my neck out and say that. So um, let's see what else we've got here. Will the achievement system be fixed on Xbox? It's not registering fish caught. Um, Stephen, could you jump in on that? Again, I'm not aware of that issue. I think uh, it's registering the fish that are relevant to the achievements, I believe, but if that's not right, then Stephen, can you jump in on that? Um, you should make it so you can drive the trucks to different lakes. Yeah, there's loads of things around the actual thing we could do. That'd be cool. Yeah, you could maybe need to go and refuel your boat or something like that, yeah. but you know, lots of expansions, but we're focusing on the, the core experience at the moment. Just trying to move it forward. I mean, at the end of the day, this is so much different to where we started with Eurofishing, you know. And the same will be said in two years' time. We'll move on from here. You know, we'll add new things. We'll do all the sort of things that you're talking about. Yeah. You know, these are the sort of things that we'd love to do, and we'd love to do them tomorrow. Absolutely. But it's just not possible, and you know, we have to work at it the best we can. And so, uh, are you adding anything bigger than the £200 cat? Not at the moment in the core game. There won't be anything bigger than the £200 cat at the moment. I'm going to fly for you through some of these because they're going to drop off. Will the multiplayer service be able to handle four people on the lake? Uh, Optimisation has uh, taken place again for this, so um, multiplayer should be improved with four people. Uh, so yes, and in future we'd like to see more than four people. At the moment, optimised four people will be as part of the July update. Um, uh, how big the channel cat and trout going to be? I've answered that. Uh, I can't give a precise answer at the moment, but they will be no bigger than state records or lake records if it's an if it's a known venue. Um, sea fishing wouldn't be that fun to be honest says Jacob Smith we'd have to make it fun Jacob we'd have to make you enjoy it oh yeah and make I'm sure fun. we could do uh, <laughs> Daniel are there any Dutch venues in the future donkey. potentially Daniel yes we, we've we got loads of um, venues all around Europe and in the US we could go to so we need to to visit Holland absolutely Carp Lantis I think is a is a known Dutch venue that would be very Absolutely. interesting to do be cool can you make carp fight a bit more, make them harder to catch? Says Ben, yeah, 
um, each, you should find that each venue is slightly different now and some venues are harder than, than others. Um, I'm guessing that you'll be adding super strength line for landing the Siamese catfish and arapaima as you'd struggle to land them. I don't know what you're talking about. The Siamese, no Siamese idea. No catfish idea. and arapaima? I don't know where that's come from no. at all. No idea what that is. Um, Some eagled eyed viewers. Yeah. Tommy Thompson fishing again. Uh, lots of great ideas from Tommy coming in. Can you make bream tension carp harder to catch on the float because the roach are so hard to catch because of them? Uh, Tommy, we can look into the balancing around that. Absolutely, we'll pass that on to Des and his team. Uh, after July update, will adding rivers to the game be the main focus? Not necessarily, but adding flow and rivers is certainly something we Definitely. want to do. Uh, and we want to add flow to the bass lakes as well so that you drift and there be reasons for power poles and things like that. Guys, I'm trying to catch up if I've missed something. Retype it because things are dropping off. I'm really sorry. Um, let's see what else. Um, again, someone's asked about the strength of the line being added for Arapaima, Siamese, and Mekong. Oh, I can't answer that question because they're not in the core game. Again, I don't know. Oh, I don't know where this has come from. You'll have to watch this space on yeah. that one. Um, Uh, so Chad says, can't wait, thanks, just said that we've got 80 hours of broadcasting the game in five weeks. That's fantastic, nice. thank you so much. Keep doing what you're doing, that's brilliant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what else, why no two-man boats? Um, we don't have the ability to, yeah, to fish with two people on the same boat at the moment. It's something we'd love to have add in the future. Uh, so Stephen has come in about achievements, so I'll leave you to talk to them, Stephen, about that. Um, will there be split screen? No, there's no plan, plans for split screen at the moment, I'm afraid. Uh, Matt Hall, when are you guys coming to fish against us? Matt, what, are you Post throwing launch. down a challenge? Yeah, yeah, that sounds yeah like absolutely, challenge. Matt. Like I've said to you, I think I said to you on... Um on Facebook, absolutely. Once we're at, once this Pro Tour is out, then we'll have a little bit more time on our hands um, and we'd love to come and fish with you guys. Um, someone's asked, can you make a Florida saltwater fishing map? Um, we wouldn't just do a saltwater fishing map, uh, map, we would add saltwater fishing to the game, all bells and whistles. We're not ready for that yet. We will be in the future. Yes, so that's something under the fishing sim world umbrella we want to get to. This fish, so uh, this fish. watch this yes. space. Um, Smashing it. Uh, let's, uh, can you add fly fishing? Again, yes. It's something we'd like to add in the future. Mark's on fire. I know. I've had a tournament. It's a little, a little spot you found. 23, there, yeah, isn't I think, it? yeah. Now everybody knows. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> My secret spot. Uh, uh, we've shown them last week on the stream uh, in terms of the Arapaima and the Mekongs. Were they? Well, Des, that's Des. That's Des for you. That's Des for you. Des, Des it's the producer, he, he gives away far too much. Yeah. He promises too much. We can't talk about it from a publishing point of view no. yet, can we? We we still know nothing. So. We will fill you in in the next few yeah. weeks. Don't you worry. You won't be disappointed. Excuse me, Hayes. We see them last week. Oops, will they be in Gillum's? <sighs> no idea. <laughs> Gillums? Gillums? Where's that? that? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Right, there we go, boy. Let's have a so, look. right. Oh, you've smashed it. I've come first. Look at that. That's not a bad rope. No. Bad. So, uh, there we go. All, the, all the, ticks, the ticks mean that all those fish count. And the £11.6 with the crown next to it shows that at the time that was a personal best. What? A spotted bass, personal best. So, Winner. congratulations. Thank you. Jay was the best placed uh, pro there, so he was a sneaky seventh. Yeah. So, wow. Well, that was okay, wasn't it? And over, so there, that's your overall ranking, and you can see some of the uh, some of the pros there that are in the game. So, can you go down on the keyboard with Lee? Oh, no. oh, yeah, oh yeah, there we go. So, you can see there an example, guys, of some of the pros we've signed. We're announcing them all the time. A little bit of a, a sneak of some of the ones that we haven't announced yet are going to be in there. So, I don't know why Caleb hasn't got his... Caleb's lost his picture. He's we'll, lost his picture. We'll write that we'll, down. Yeah, we'll <laughs> make a note of that, yeah. absolutely. There's Billy. All right, and Alice. So, those those, those um, guys are not pros. Those guys, yeah, they don't have uh, images, but Caleb should do as a pro. Who's the best? 
Yeah, uh, Caleb's but let me try and get back in on this. Um, nice. oh. no. Let's see what else. Uh, I'm having trouble successfully performing the Twitch retrieve on Xbox. What's up, uh, Luke? You need to send in a video to explain why, because it, it should work. It, uh, if we can see what what you're um, struggling with, then we can answer you a lot easier. Uh, Tommy, please add Graf and Water and have it to be a pure lure fishing venue. Uh, we can look up Graf and Water, Tommy, for you, no problem. Will there be more rods and reels from 13 fishing added? Uh, we are adding more equipment and there will be a little bit more coming in from uh, 13 fishing soon. Maybe not, uh, there will be something in July actually and then a bit more again after that as well. Uh, Abu Garcia in the future. Uh, if they want to be in, we'd love to talk to Abu Garcia. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, yeah, Plus, uh, the potential is it's there to do it, absolutely. We'll do this calm one and then we'll have a look at some of the badges. Uh, what time in July will it come out? It comes out on the 18th of July. Uh, is there any way we can get a temperature range in multiplier, like 70 to 74 degrees, so we can make events the closest to even in events? So we've got custom multiplier. One of the um, customization tools at the moment isn't water temperature, but we can look uh, we can look to add water temperature in the future as a variant of multiplier. Uh, Josh Johnson, I don't know the 18th, but like what time? Uh, that is to be confirmed by our first party partners, by Sony. And Microsoft as well as Steam obviously we wanted to align them all as closely as possible so we're working with those guys yeah. so we'll let you know as quickly as possible um, when is Megalodon being added he is added he is in Largo del Mundo That's right. uh, which is an additional lake that you can purchase and Megalodon is in there as well as his brother is in there now as well Indeed. Isn't he? so uh, Let's see what else has come in here. <sighs> Darth Badger, they phoned Des during the stream and he gave the okay for them to show those fish. Blame Des. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, blame we Des. do every day. We actually. do for everything, to be honest. Yeah, every day. Uh, so there you go, Josh, my brother's birthday, the 18th. So hopefully he plays as well and that'll be a nice little birthday treat Very for nice. him. Uh, Caleb just got fourth in the Bass Elite, says. Stephen, yep, and we've got a lot of guys about to start the next FLW event on Thursday at Lake Champlain, so we wish them all the best of luck. We just had a tournament. Scott's, uh, Scott's taking part in that, Scott Martin, obviously we're working closely with, and we'll be wishing him the best of luck for that. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Um, Hi there, and welcome to the next event on the tour. With prize there you go, money some, and uh, OB198 says uh, on the sound because you place the depth tension and speed so below and not on the, the screen itself. Like the current version. Uh, yeah, we can sort of fit, we've fed back about the size of the um, the image now. We feel it's a little small, don't we? So we we're did, looking yeah. to make that bigger. Uh, I'm trying to um, keep up here. Will water clarity change ever be a thing? Uh, Zach, we need to look at water clarity. We'd love to be able to do a little bit of sight fishing as well in the future. Absolutely. So yeah, it will be a thing. Uh, do you need to have the DLC lakes to take part in the career mode? No, you do not. You can take part in career mode without DLC lakes. You obviously just won't have as much variety. If you have DLC lakes, they will appear in your career mode. If you don't, they simply won't on the tour that you're fishing. So uh, obviously the more lakes you have, the more um, variety you're going to have in your career mode. Uh, if you guys ch could choose a randomised tournament for the group, what would it be for the North American Fishing League? What what challenge, what tournament could we give them, do you think? It's some predator fishing for me. I, I'd love to see you guys fishing... Um, fishing the Grand Union Canal, where only... Um, Pike and Xander count. Nice. So it's like you're you're fishing, you're spinning, you're using lures, but you're on a European venue and you're fishing from the bank and not on the not on the lake. Challenge. I'd like to see how you guys got on with that. That'd be That's really cool. cool. 
Uh, Zach, let's see the jersey customization. Mark, you forgot to show. I know. We'll do it after this. I apologise. Yeah, that'll be the, that's how we'll finish. So yeah. we've got 18 minutes left of the street of this tournament. Yeah, we'll 18 do that. 18 and a half minutes, and as soon as this tournament's over, that's how we'll finish. We'll jump into that to show you. Um, eels and stock ponds. Yes, yeah, we've been through eels and stock ponds. We know we need to do it. Any plans to add live bait? Uh, no, I don't think we will be adding live baits to the game. We've got dead baits, but live baits can uh, sort of cause issues, particularly around age ratings um, and uh, you know the sensitivity around that. So I don't see live baiting being an option. Uh, freshwater stingray, not at the moment. That would be really cool if we got to a venue where we could have them. That would be amazing. Would you ever do a trucking sim for America? Uh, there's no plans for that as a company at the moment to do a trucking sim. Um, Ball Shoals Lake in Arkansas would be a great addition. Uh, Zach, we can look into that. We're certainly looking now to focus on sort of tour venues as well. So uh, we'll look into that. Paddleboard fishing, please. <laughs> that would be pretty That'd cool. Be cool wouldn't it? I like as that. is, uh, we also we're looking at kayaks Kayak, as well. Luke, so absolutely no tips on how to successfully perform the Twitch Retrieve on Xbox. I really like this game, would love some pointers. Luke, uh, we can certainly give you some tips, but initially I think you were saying, why is it not working? And so we'd need to see and understand what you're struggling with. So I think the best thing to do, Luke, is to to uh, go on to Kayako, uh, where Stephen's already posted the link, but I'm sure he can post it again and we can help you out there, no problem whatsoever. Will your sponsors give you equipment to use? Uh, Nate, says Nate. Not really Nate, because we're so busy making the game, we hardly can ever get out ourselves. And uh, particularly the North American sponsors, we don't, just, we don't really do that fishing over here. Obviously we get to go on the occasional research trip where we use equipment provided by the anglers or partners, which is really nice. But In game now, they but, don't. Um, but no. They don't provide anything for us. Uh, and please, can you add more koi? Uh, Tom says, Tommy, do you mean more koi as in the number of koi in the venues or to more venues, Tommy? Um, Matt Hall says he'll make it happen. That'd be great. It'd be lovely to see that and see how you get on with the challenge yeah, we've set yeah. you on Grand Union Canal. Um, Luke says tons of US venues, it's endless, absolutely Luke. Uh, so we're trying to pick out oh. the, the most popular, the best ones to do. We're not going to run out. Uh, absolutely not. Why is it called tiger nuts? I don't know, it's a form of nut that is called a tiger nut, isn't it? Is, it? Yeah. That's the most simple answer, it yeah. is a genuine thing. Yeah. They're called tiger nuts, so I've no idea why. Um, I don't know why, that's hilarious. Can we get a demo of Gillum's Fishing Resort? Again. Uh, always talk about Gillum's. I, I don't know what, what's going on. What are you talking uh, about? We, no, we're, we, we, in a couple we, of weeks' time, we may or may not be able to do that. Yes, we may or may not be able to confirm Gillum's, but uh, nothing at the moment, I'm afraid. Already asked for a perch only tawny on Grand Union. Yeah, that's, that's that'd be cool. Lake Chickamauga. Yeah, I, I was lucky enough to go out to Lake Chickamauga. Fantastic venue, and I caught a PB bass on there. You did, not, you didn't not, you? Not that I'm going to boast, but it was yeah. eight pound four ounces. Yeah. So that's uh, that's really cool. Seems to be beat. Um, you guys going to the Forestwood Cup on Lake Hamilton in August? We have been invited, and it's certainly something we're looking into. I personally won't be there, unfortunately. I am on my holidays, um, but I might be. there is every chance that we will be there, absolutely. Uh, we'll be at iCast in a few weeks' time. If anyone's going to iCast, we will be there. It's yeah. um, a big fish, this. Yeah, you're, um, you're taking your time with uh, it. It's a big fish, I'm losing uh, There you go. It's the money. You need to catch it, because I see someone's got 64 pounds. Oh, that's a big fish, though. That's probably 60 pounds, but... 20, 20, 43, 43. Wow, what lake is this on? This is... Um, Valdsy. Valdsy, yeah. yeah. Wow. In the Black Forest. Look at that. Look at some of the names there as well. That are beating uh, you, eh? You're going to struggle to some of them. Chloe's beating me. Yeah, Chloe. She's, she's, she's way better than me anyway. Yeah, real up-and-coming female yeah, angler indeed. for you there. Yeah. 
Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, uh, any ideas as to when we'll be able to customise how we rig our soft plastics? Uh, that's further down the line, Zach. It's one of those things in terms of customisation, you know, where do we stop? Um, same with carp fishing with the rigs, you know, just adjusting the length of the rig or the hook link material. Um, or the size of the swivel or things like that. It's a really difficult balance of where do we, how far down do we drill into into your um, lure or rig presentation. So it's one of the things we're always looking at and considering. Uh, we keep adding lures after the July update. Uh, we've got more partners to get equipment into the game. So not just lures, we'll be adding more equipment as we go after July. Uh, can you add drop shotting? I know that's a really popular method now, both in Europe and in the US, so that's something we've got our eye on, absolutely. Are you adding F1s? No, not at the moment. There's no plans to add F1s currently. But if we add pole fishing at some point in the future... Did you keep the eight pounder? No, we safely returned the eight pound bass. Uh, catch and release for me, absolutely. So Definitely. he went straight back. Fit and healthy, ready to fight another day. Uh, striped bass and peacock bass will be added in the future, I'm sure, uh, to suitable venues. They're both species that we'd love to add. After July, after July, there'll be 29 species of fish in the game. And someone asked about the number of venues, didn't they? And we, we said we'd like to get close to 30 venues within a year. I'd like to get close to 40 species of fish Absolutely. within the year as well. So we'll be adding more um, species of fish. Um, Adding different weights for different sink weights for the bass fish, fishing would be huge. Absolutely, Luke, but we need to make it work in the game as well. We need it to serve a purpose and for it to make a difference. So that's something that we're looking into. Um, can you guys make all the fishing line types have their distinctive properties like in real life? Because right now there's no difference in using a specific one because everyone does the same thing. Uh, there are subtle differences in the different lines that you choose to use. Uh, particularly around uh, when you're actually fighting the fish and the balance of your setups but we can try and obviously it's not clear enough at the moment we can try and make the distinctions bigger and more obvious Absolutely. no problems with that uh, Austin says you're good at this game Mark well it's he, not my he first should, go he should be <laughs> he's been working yeah. on it yeah. long enough <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm at my desk every day uh, will the Hudder menu be changing it like it does in the stream? Yes, this is the July update build that we're playing on. So everything you're seeing here is what you'll be getting in July. Um, it's great that trout are being added and barbel, a fish I know nothing about as an American. Well, the barbel is a really hard fighting fish in rivers, fights harder than anything in rivers, but we don't have rivers yet. So they are hard fighting in the applicable canal, uh, canal, and uh, they'll be going into Lago de Mundo as well because they have different strains of them in in Europe, yeah. and they get much bigger than they do in the UK and fight just as hard. So that's something you can be looking out for. Uh, will there be more boats in time? There will be more boats for more manufacturers. Um, not in July though. Uh, there will be a couple of new. Um, boat manufacturers that you can be sponsored by so look out for that that's a clue as to what will be coming in the future would you ever consider it. producing an update where the angler could make their own venue we have discussed this and we've given you the tools to make venues in the way that we do uh, we do something similar on trains that's uh that's still in sort of discussion stage and, and seeing how we could do that and if it would be effective or not so that's under consideration Play as a fish mode. <laughs> you could be a fish. I love <laughs> it. I love it. That'd be cool. Well, awesome. you, should, you should be able to do that in multiplayer. One of you is the angler and one of you is the fish. And he's swimming around and giving him line bites and, <laughs> and frustrating him all the time. That'd be cool. That's um, the best thing I've heard in ages. So That's with the addition quality. of Channel Cat, when could we expect to see the big flatheads and blue cats? Uh, mm. Obviously, they are, again, more species that we'd like to get to. Like I said just a minute ago, we, I'd love, I'd like and expect us to be much nearer the 40 than the 30 species of fish in the next sort of uh, 12 months. Absolutely. I so yeah. so I, I'm sure that uh, big flatheads and blue cats would be on that list to do. 
Uh, big time, Jay. Can we see bait boats, beards on the characters, eels in game in the future, Darren? Uh, we're not going to have eels, big time, Jay. I'm afraid. Uh, we are. We might have to. We won't be doing that. No, we probably will look to do eels. Yeah. We'll send you on a research trip yeah. just to fight your fears. Bait boats is something we're looking into. I know they divide opinion. I'm not a massive fan of them, although I'm beginning to understand that for some venues, though, it's probably safer to use a bait boat. Um, yeah. So yeah, we, we, well can, with... we can look to add bait boats yeah. in the future. Um, beards on the characters. We'll pass that on to the character artists. I think our characters need a bit of a, a revamp in general anyway. Yeah, a beard um, would be all right, wouldn't it? Yeah. We're not modeling on you, though, because it will be more like a wisp. <sighs> Sorry. It's true. A baby face, what can I say? Exactly, yes. Eh? Keeping your youthful looks. Exactly, you wouldn't believe I'm 50 years old. I know, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah. Will waders ever be an option? Uh, well, if we start allowing you to go into the water, then they should be an option. You should be equipped with waders, I think. Uh, I don't it's know if anyone has thing. asked this, but what about fishing out at sea? Uh, it's not part of this game. Adding sea fishing, saltwater fishing is something we'd love to do in the future. So it's not appropriate at the moment, I'm afraid. The jerseys look awesome, thank you. Yeah, we've worked hard on them uh, to try and replicate tournament tournament jerseys. Um, pleased that you like them. Obviously you'll be able to choose your sponsors as you go along and you've got the 52 different partners to choose from. Uh, so you'll be a, there'll be lots of variety of tournament jerseys and we'd love to see some designs uh, once the update's out, see what you guys are coming up with. Uh, it's a big break. Cecil, uh, we are testing a lot at the moment, so we hopefully there won't be any big bugs that get into the game. Uh, you know, we're testing as much as we can, so hopefully not. Mark, you're 86 for well, this. Well, the last few fish haven't count, count, caught, counted because they weren't carp. So, you know, those are the. Those are the risks in a carp tournament. Josh says it'd be cool to have your name on the back of the jerseys. Yeah, absolutely, in the future. Certainly something we can look to add. So that'd be cool. Uh, what? Dock skipping, says Matt. Matt, that would be awesome. And the skill of people doing that blows me away whenever I see it. Uh, how we simulate that, I think, would be a real yeah, challenge. Be interesting, wouldn't it? Uh, but yeah, absolutely love to look to, um, to do that. Uh, XCAL 1337, I'm sorry you feel that way. Um, it's not for everyone, obviously, and obviously you don't don't worry about carrying on to watch if you're not enjoying it. We, re we respect your opinion, but if you're not enjoying it, then uh, there's probably plenty of other things to be watching at the moment. Um, Tommy, can you add a stretch of the River Ooze in Bedford, where you're from? I know the river who's in Bedford. Uh, when we get to rivers, obviously we're gonna have lots of nice rivers that we can do. Uh, with the July update, we'll, you, you will be able to set up custom tournaments. I don't know if that's you're saying you will or are you able to, but the answer is yes. You you will be able to set up custom tournaments and we'll be doing a, uh, a particular piece on that uh, before launch to let you know all about it. Uh, we'll be adding a landing net like in Euro fishing at the moment there is uh, the landing net is not there it's a sequence that we need to bring back and improve um, obviously Euro fishing we had it and it didn't work very well so we took it away then we had the auto netting and now we just have the cutscene uh, it's something we'll be going back to in the future yeah uh, looking to um, looking to improve uh, is the fish finder done or not just wondering the fish finder is how it is in the game at the moment, but it's something that we want to improve in the future again as well. Uh, would you add all of the linear complex? No, I don't think we'd ever do all of the complex because we want to give you the variety of different venues, but adding a, an additional uh, linear venue for Fishing Sim World, I think is very much on the cards in the future. Um, let's see what else we've got there. Uh, best fishing game out there, thank you. Thank you very much, we really appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, yes. In real life, the line is the most important item, but in the game you use 50 pound braid for everything. This would need to be changed, Robert. Yeah, I know there's been an ongoing conversation in this stream about the line. Uh, I've given an explanation about the subtle differences, but it's obviously 
things that can be improved, something that could be improved on, so we'll look to improve on that for you, no problem. Um, two people on the boat, again, that, again, that is something we want to add in the future. It is, definitely. Uh, in multiplayer and in general maybe in career mode tournaments having a fishing partner on the lake so we have got three and a half minutes to go mark you are wallowing in 99th place in danger of losing a top 100 finish it's really disappointing well, i'm not gonna lie out, but uh, is that a carp i think so it's not a very big one if it is no. I think, yeah, I think you might need to bully it in because you need another fish on quickly. Aaron Fisher from CR Bates is in the lead. John Walker and Marv Waite from Tracker Signet are in the medals as well. It's very tight, look, there's an ounce between it. So balancing is ongoing, we should say, uh, gents, when you see this on no. the career mode. I want to scold the shoulder bream. It's not good. <sighs> so, uh, yeah. It's obviously a better bass angler. Obviously. Yeah. You've, gone, you've converted. I've converted, yes. So, we're, we're, there you go, number one. Can you get it in on time? You've got two That'd and a half very, minutes. Be, that'll be interesting. Two and a half minutes to shoot up the leaderboard. Look, another four, if you catch another 43 pound carp, you win. Not in two and a half minutes, I don't think. Come on, you can do this. You have to bully it. Come on. What do you think? You got it on 44 and you're, and you're bringing a bit of ground, so I'm not sure it's a massive fish, is it? No, anything will do to get me off 100. <laughs> oh, you've dropped to 100 I'll now. take it, I'll take it. Uh, Neil Poir, I think it's good. Oh, well, yeah. 100 out of two. <laughs> Come on, Mark. Everybody else you're making, you're making ground. I know, everybody else having a better day. And it's a bream. No, it's not it's a carp. This, is, this could be. This could get you in back into the top fifty. Come on. It's not going to be easy. You've got a minute, minute and a half. It's not going to be easy in a minute, minute and, and a half. half. Come on. You can do this. Risk reward. This no, is going to be it. right up on that limit. Stop it in its tracks. Come on. I have faith. I think you're going to. I think you're going to do this with about seventeen seconds to spare. Seventeen. Good call. There we go. It might even be less than that if it keeps coming towards you like that. Oh, that, oh. Not that. It's okay just when you keep the rod low. Minute. Just over a minute. Oh, oh he's that. done it. Quick, get it get it in and get it weighed before you run out of time. 17 pounds. It's going to help. Where's it put you? Where? 76. That's okay. <laughs> I'll take that with 56. Yeah, indeed. Well, there you go. Over the next 46 seconds, I'll just drop down places. <laughs> So when this event's over, let's show the guys the uh, the sponsorship screen and where you get your sponsors and your shirt logos. I think that'd be a great way to finish off. Um, so there you go. Let's have a quick look. Uh, let's see what I've missed. Will Career Mode have a weigh-in? No, Josh, it won't at the moment. It'll just uh, record your top five fish and you can... Uh, have a look to see what they were at the end of the event. It'll show you all the fish that you caught and the, what, what the top five were that counted. Um, so uh, there we go. Uh, people are saying that the, people were putting you under serious pressure there, but you, you did it saying don't snap it. And no, well, whatever. So it's okay. There you go. Look, up a hard. catfish and two bream. That's what stitched I, you that's up. That's what stitched me up. So the, just hold on that screen for a minute, just to show you guys very quickly, the two ticks there show that those fish count uh, for the event. So if anyone's got the tick, it didn't count. And the little crown there shows that that was a personal best for that species of fish as well. So it's just a, just a little bit of explanation for you. A couple of new symbols that we've added. It'll all be explained when you get the update, but just to give you the heads up on that. So we jump out of there and yeah, 76. Right, it dropped me down, didn't it, really? Yeah. Well, I got up from 100th, so that's okay. So, uh, current rank 100th. Not great. Don't want to do that anyway. So, uh, oh, round two. Let's quit the event. Yeah, we this. will. Come out of there. And uh, see if you can improve. So, there you go. Round two, obviously, me will be adding on to your current score to see if you can move up the leaderboard. Um, but yeah, we'll just show you very quickly. I know people have been after. So again, sponsors. 
oh, go back into, you've come out of continued career. Go across the sponsors. So there we go, so that's where you've got your uh, your different options. So our primary sponsor is 13 Fishing, that's the logo on there. If you click on there, you're contracted to them for the next 11 events. Oh, it won't let you click on there at the moment. Uh, if you go in, so yeah, we can't go into them at the moment because we signed up for the number of events. So after nine events, um, or whatever number of events it would be, you can go in and you can renegotiate with a current sponsor existing sponsor or a new sponsor and that's how they appear on your logo uh, so yeah your primary sponsor uh, shows on your chest and then the the five secondary sponsors appear around your around your shirt and obviously there'll be up to 52 different partners offering you sponsorship at different stages so that is how that works it tells you how what the goals are doesn't it as well yeah yeah we can drill down into sponsors in more detail in the future yeah, but we'll you'll do. You've got event goals, you've got happiness from them, like how you're performing against their targets, what the um, sponsorship offer is to obviously increase your um, prize money in the game, your career earnings, uh, and obviously um, your sponsor offers are also triggered by your followers. So at the moment you've got 63,750 followers. We've uh, got a net worth or career earnings of $269,000. You've won one event, you've finished on the podium once, you have one top 10 finish, and you've fished four events. So that's Stations just a little bit of information yeah, about how that works. So there we go. Uh, guys, we are about to finish off. Uh, again, we can just flick through the career standings there. You can scroll down the leaderboards and it will show you some of the anglers. We've announced a lot of them, we'll carry on announcing them. Uh, but yeah, there's over a hundred pro anglers for you to fish against in the future. John Fluin will be proud there. Let's sit, yeah, sit sitting pretty at the, top, at the there. top. There we go, he's got a beard. So uh, yeah, he's got a quality <laughs> beard. So there we go. So that is, that's a little bit of career mode tonight. Next week, Stephen and Des. Um, yeah, I believe so. I think back to the uh, people. I'm booth. sure, sure they're going to uh, give, give away, away a load of stuff they yeah. shouldn't be giving away. But you know, the update is coming on July 18th. It's going to be good. We're already working on things for after July 18th as well. You know how we work now. So Des gives things away, but yeah, you know, we're not standing still. July 18th has been a massive thing for us to get to. That's done now. We're going through the process of testing and balancing and and making sure it's as perfect as it can be for you guys and other parts of the team are already working on what's going to come on come after July 18th. So the wheel keeps on spinning. It it's does, exci yeah. Exciting times. It's very exciting times. Hope Looking you really enjoy it. I've answered as much as I can on the uh, stream for you. I'm really sorry if I've missed things. It's been really busy this evening. I know Stephen's been on there as well. Um, anything that we haven't covered and you're not worried about, contact us through our social media or through Kayako. Um, Stephen can put the address on there one more time. But yeah, thank you very much, guys. Absolutely, yeah, always a pleasure. Yep, uh, when we're next on, three weeks, yeah, we, would so. have been, we would have been back from iCast, wouldn't we? We will, yeah. So we can tell you a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, we can tell you a little Hopefully bit about that. there'll be some exciting things coming out of that. We'll put some and stuff we'll be, up on our social media when, we, when we're there anyway, yeah. so. Yeah, and the scary thing is, is when we're, when we're next due on, we will literally be two days, be two days away, away from the launch. I think so it's exciting, isn't it? We should, uh, yeah, should be exciting times. So, thanks very much, guys. Take care, and we will, we will see you in three weeks. You will indeed. As a franchise, we'll be back next week. Take Thank care. You. Bye. Bye.